Hi, my name is Rihanna and my name means goddess. I've always been interested in uh, social justice issues um, and a lot of the time you learn about them through documentaries. So um, I've always liked watching documentaries as a result. Um, so when I moved to Ottawa, someone had recommended I get involved with a, a local social justice documentary film festival. So I was involved with the One World Film Festival for three years. There's a lot of organization and work that goes into a film festival. Um, and what I really appreciated about working with that festival, uh, I was a volunteer and it's almost entirely organized by volunteers who get together in each other's homes weekly to, to review films. Um, so I really appreciated uh, how something so small could could develop into a really uh, great festival, which I think is a, an important institution in Ottawa. The festival has been running for over 25 years now. Last year it celebrated 25 years. Somewhere in the process of watching all of those documentaries and planning the film festival, and just being so moved um, by some of those films and realizing um, the ways that film can capture certain issues um, in ways that you can't if you're just reading about it. Um, so I thought I'm gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hand at this and, and uh, combine combine social issues that I'm passionate about with making it into something beautiful. I decided to do my first film about uh, capoeira, which is an Afro-Brazilian martial art that I practice. I've been doing capoeira since 2008 on and off and always had a, shall I say, love-hate relationship that might be too, no, maybe that's about accurate, kind of uh, being drawn to it, being called by it, uh, learning Portuguese, putting yourself through the physical training, which is very intense, um, and always in the back of my head wondering, why? Why am I doing this? So it was my means um, of exploring it more and understanding this thing in my life a bit better. If you had to describe capoeira to someone who's never seen or heard of it before, how would you do that? Um, I think I like the the saying that it's kind of like um, like physical chess. You know, there's a certain set of moves. It's a ritualized combat. So there's certain things that you you know that you can do, you know, or that you should do, um, but it's not prescribed. You know, you're sort of you have a liberty of, uh, you know, dancing and moving in a certain way. Go for it. That's what someone told me when I was hemming and hawing over applying for Jumpstart. You know, they said, you only live once, just try. Um, and another really good piece of advice I got when I was doing my Jumpstart application was to, to take the stakes out of it, in a sense. So. Whether or not I got the grant, it was it was beneficial for me just to sit down and go through the process um, because it, it makes something that you've thought about for a long time into a reality. Um, because all of a sudden you're you know putting pen to paper and, and making a plan for how you might realize it, and that is such an important first step. And and it really is. You just need to take one step, um, and. And, and the rest can happen. And Ottawa especially, I can't speak for other cities because I, I haven't uh, been through this process there, but um, there's such a, a great, welcoming, helpful community of local independent filmmakers. Um, everyone that I met that I told I was in the process of making my first film, um, without hesitation would say, let me know if you need any help. Um, and I, I think, I feel there's really this, this ethos of, of helping and mentorship that goes on, which I'm now trying to contribute back to as well as I continue to learn. So um, just, just try, you have nothing to lose. I work part-time at Hub Ottawa as community facilitator. Uh, Hub Ottawa is a co-working community that tries to uh, inspire and support local consultants, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, etc. So I coordinate a weekly lunch and learn series. Um, I also host wind down and a lot of the time I'm I'm doing what my job title says, which is facilitating community. 
Um, so I get to chat with people and see what they're working on, what they're passionate about. Um, and this has been actually a great uh, opportunity for me as well. People have been approaching me to do videos for them. So um, starting to get into making crowdfunding videos, uh, etc. So, um, and that goes hand in hand with earlier um, motivation to just tell the stories of, of people doing work that, that, that is really important. I uh, am hoping to start, I started the process actually of, um, of making a film that will be very personal. It will involve me going on camera as well as my family and essentially it's a gathering of my family's stories. Um, starting with my immediate family, my extended family, uh, stories of our, of, our, of our time at present. Um, I was born here in Canada but my parents immigrated here from Guyana. So I'm also hoping to gather uh, stories of, um, of our past and I, I'm feeling like this is going to be an important part of, of my cultural voice moving forward as an artist.